All right, welcome back to the show. And of course, watching that video, you know that this is not um, it's not a stranger to the music scene and the gospel scene at large and music in general. Mm. Uh, of course, Mike Abdul in the building. Welcome to the show. Uh, good to have you on. But I don't know if we've had you on Silver Bird at any point in time. I don't mm, think so. No. That was yes. my first time. Okay, and that's yes. Alleluia, uh, of course, with your amazing singer there. She's not also a stranger. Yes, so Adaihi. Adaihi, yes. So welcome to the okay, show. I think we've had on the show. Yeah, we've had Adaihi like, on the show. I think I met you once. I'm not sure. Mm. But uh, you friends with Ima, oh my God? Oh, yes. Of course. You yeah, <laughs> I think I met you in Hong Kong at some point. But yeah, that must have been a while ago. How you doing, brother, man? Welcome to the show. I'm good like that. What have yeah. you been up to? What has been going on with you? It's basically been ages, ages, and you're still being very consistent on yes. the scene and trying to spread the music of hope, yes, and belief, despite the odds. So um, that's a new song. Yes, what are yes. you on about right now? Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's that's uh, my new song. That's uh, Hallelujah Always, Michael Dole featuring Adaihi. It's actually an album, actually. Oh. Um, that's the title track, uh, Hallelujah Always. I had um, 10 tracks. I featured 13 other artists. I featured Adaihi. I featured um, Tim Godfrey, Samuel Boso, oh. Onos, Shala, Listen. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> you the big names when it comes to gospel, though. I say, yes, yes, oh. I, I must say. Oh. So, so, so that's what I've been up to. So I've been uh, promoting. Uh, ever since. Okay. Yeah. yeah, primarily looking at the way that gospel has become a tool of change, it's really with what is going on in society, the political terrain. How do you think the impact of gospel music has spread far? Do you think that it has achieved what it's supposed to achieve in Nigeria? Uh, well, I, I think it's doing its bit and uh, we cannot stop. We have to keep doing it, uh, using our music to promote some godliness you know, promote some sense, some, you know, still promote some strength mm. and belief despite whatever is happening, you know, letting people know that uh, um, we are stronger than what is happening on the outside. Mm. And uh, uh, the only way we can bring about the change is to bring out that strength on the inside of us and make it a material. Mm. So I think that's Let's talk about your music journey. For those who don't know, um, they know you. <laughs> but they don't know yeah. the journey and I always say that one game. of the things I like to bring out of celebrities when I meet them is let them encourage the people how did you start because some people just look at this look at people like you and like ah this guy <laughs> he started dead yeah. but I'm sure you started you had your struggles so yes, let, let's know from the top of course you can't give us the whole history of right now but, <laughs> uh, how did it start and how long have you been doing this for now yes yeah, so uh, Discover my love for it with my parents. My dad would play a lot of records, a lot of fella, a lot of King Sonia Day, and uh, I just knew there was this frequency that resonated with all the records my dad played. I just knew there was something about me that was going to do this. And uh, good enough for me, uh, I met members of Midnight Crew in Yaba College of Technology, and then uh, mm. we started Midnight Crew 2001. And oh, wow. uh, from there, we got the big Igwe break. Cause of a beer. It was everywhere. It felt good. Like, oh yeah, we have arrived. <laughs> How was yeah. it in that period for you? Because I mean, it was just all over the place. Oh yes, it was very, very well all over the place. It was so all over the place. We, we didn't know. We were even in the UK. Mm. When in the UK and uh, while in the UK, people in the UK started singing our songs to us. And they started asking us, have you heard that song? Psst. Now we, 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 we sang the song. You sang the song? And of course, by the time we got back to Nigeria, it was everywhere. Mm. Come on, every mm. bus stop, mm. every wheelbarrow that sold cassettes. Yes, you was know. everywhere. <laughs> well, was. And, by the way, the transition of new acts in the industry, mm. not even gospel and music industry, has yeah. that been able to and being consistent? Have you been able to balance mm. that consistency and still remain relevant? I be consistency makes you believable. Um, I've I've always known that uh, this is what I want to do. So I, I believe very strongly that um, don't hope on, on luck. Just understand that this is an organization. This is what I do. This is how I stand. This is me. Um, that way, because you have vision for what you're doing, uh, yeah, you set goals. It keeps happening for you. Mm. That's it. Uh, talk about, you know, in terms of commercial you know, angle of things. That. When that song came out, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure they had streaming platforms at the time. At that no. time yes, so you probably had to depend on <laughs> marketers. To, yes, yes. And I'm sure you guys did. must have been duped uh, out. So mm -hmm. ripped off. <laughs> but lots. let's talk about the commercial viability of 
brand your brand of music, which is gospel music. Yes, yes. Um, how is it paying off right now for not just you, but a lot of gospel artists? And would you encourage people to, mm. you know, go into that model of music? Well, gone are the days when uh, gospel music was boxed to a religious sector. Uh -huh. You know, uh, gospel music these days has entered into the culture. And uh, gospel seems to be part of the culture. It's part of, it seems, part of, it seems like it's part of every, people's everyday life now. Oh. Everyday life, you know. So uh, check out the streams on Spotify. Check out the streams uh, on Boomplay. Gospel music is right on top of the game. Rivaling the it's commercial. Right on top yes, of the game. really right on top. Mm. Right. And um, it's doing well. Once you know what to do, apparently, I think you must be telling a story. You must be speaking to a people. You know, um, if not, you just be speaking to yourself. Once you see that you're speaking to a people and then you're using your music to solve problems, mm. you will draw the traction. Okay. So, what's in the works for you coming up? Uh, new music? other things that are, would draw more people to you. Mm. What are you going to be doing regards that? Are there any plans? Mm. Put up maybe your old songs or maybe yeah. sign new artists. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well, I, I, I hope to really still build on myself. Okay. Really still build, my, build on myself. I like the mention of my old songs. It's uh, something we're working on, you know, trying to create medleys you know, out of them with uh, the new vibes, you know, so that uh, it's still not out of place. The songs are still there. People still mm. love the songs. Yeah. Just bring it closer to them in the way they want to hear it, you mm. know. So those are things we're working on. They're still working on the brand. Let me, let me take you back memory lane for a bit. You know, leaving your band, um, was it <laughs> Midnight easy? Crew? Yeah, Midnight Crew. And how did that propel you for the artist that you are right now? Amazing. Okay, um, it wasn't easy because when, it, you know, starting off with Midnight Crew made it easy for me, first of all, because instead of having 100% of the of all eyes looking at me, I only had 25%, mm. you understand, so to speak. So it, I didn't have all the pressure, you know, and so it was easier for me to start. I had the strength of every other person in the group, you know, to work with, to make it work. But to start Mike Abdul, was just me. It was you have to think for yourself now. You have to make all the decisions now. That wasn't going to be easy for me. And of course, I had to do it all the way. Of course, I had to take um, uh, lessons mm. that I learned from Midnight Crew and uh, I dived into this new river. And, okay, uh, but would there be a reunion anytime soon? Say what? A reunion? Would you be at We are point? still here. Any day we just say that, oh yeah, let's let's do it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 nice. So we'll have one of your songs, which of the songs of yours you want us to play? DJ to play. Oh yeah. You gotta have it. DJ I'm gonna go it. with Moriri. I knew it was gonna be Moriri. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take it. It's a G Friday. Yeah. Thank you. It was really nice having you on the show. And um,